one, it's going to ignore the bit of a rash on my face going on. I'm allergic to things and I'm reacting to something. I will be doing an unboxing today of Zelda for Breath of the Wild. Her nendre right here. Um, I'll show you guys a quick look at the box. Um, also, just an update here. Everything has been going to shit in the world recently. I know I haven't been super active here lately. Um, I've been dealing with some personal stuff and I'm going to school and stuff like that right now. So there's a lot going on. But now that we're all in isolation, I have no excuse not to get these done. Uh, and all of you guys could probably use more content. Not that there's not enough content out there to watch, but I might as well add because like extra stuff can't hurt, right? So we will open her on up. But yeah, so throughout this week, I'm going to be uploading videos on and off. So you guys can look forward to those. Ooh, her box actually has a background. We have some instructions, which are generally not too necessary. And then the box itself has a background, a Breath of the Wild scenic background. So that's really cool. I'll be uploading a bunch of videos this week, kind of on and off. I might do a bunch all at once or a few as we go. They've all been filmed at different times, so don't mind that. This is just me giving you an update and like preparing you for that. Not that that's a big deal. But yeah, haven't been active, but I want to be more active. I might not continue to be super active. I'm just going to film stuff as I get things and kind of leisurely put them up when I have time and the energy to because that is one of my main issues is finding the energy to. We've got her horse here and the saddle and we have the base and then of course Zelda and the Sheikah Slate. We have a little frog. We've got the Master Sword, different arm pieces and her different expressions there. So here is the horse which I think I will be posing her with her horse. I do have Link on his horse right now. I won't be doing like a, a cute together pose this time just because I don't feel like digging out Link's box wherever the hell it is. And uh, oh, this is stuck. Oh, it's around the hair. Oh, okay. And then there's more plastic everywhere on all of the legs, it seems. So the legs actually come off of the horse like this. And the plastic is just stuck underneath there. And of course, this is the royal horse. Oh, that's actually so cute. Okay. Um, was it in the cutscenes? I don't remember. Uh, I'm currently playing the game right now. I played it a long time ago and I never beat it. So I'm kind of beating it now. Um, they have it in the French braid main style. And that's the exact style that I have the royal horse in right now which is really fun because I don't remember if in the cutscenes the horse has that style or not. I'm just going to continue taking off all of this plastic. Kind of have to be careful a little bit um, when you're taking them off slash putting them back in because these uh, decorative pieces on the saddle here kind of get in the way with the peg. So you kind of have to like push it under and then kind of like squeeze it. So now I have all of the legs free of plastic. <laughs> The horse is so cute. Let me get the base out. So it's interesting. It's actually packaged a little differently than normal. So we know that the base is sitting here. Um, but if you look, underneath the base is where all of the different arms are. So we do have the arm pegs to hold Zelda regularly. And then we have the one to hold the horse, which you put, if I am correct, it is the same way that Link's horse go. I'm pretty sure the tail pops off and then you put this in between the tail and then it holds the horse steady. It'll be in the instructions as well. Um, I don't know exactly what this one is. It might be the center of the horse. Yeah, it might be here, maybe, maybe not. Maybe if you're rearing it up, I don't know. I'll figure it out though. As always, we have an extra neck piece. Ah uh, yeah, so this one here does go underneath the horse. It goes like in a Z or Z shape, like that, to hold the horse up. Also, if I am correct, I feel like this, yeah, 
So this saddle here comes off. It's like the default saddle. So you can put the horse kind of beside Zelda like she's leading him. And then when you want to put Zelda on the horse, there is a specific saddle that holds her legs properly so that she will be on there. And there's just a peg inside and a peg that goes in here. Now that's on. We'll move on to Zelda. And I will show you all of the little accessories. Oh my goodness. I can't show you like a really clear version of it because my camera won't focus that close. But there is a super cute little frog. A hot-footed frog that is here. Oh, he's so cute. And he's got little spots on his back. But adorable. And then you have the Master Sword here that you can give a link. I like that they went with a clear plastic for the blade so it almost looks like it's glowing a bit. It's kind of a transparent blue or translucent blue, I guess. And then we have uh, the Sheikah Slate here. Sorry, it's not very clear. We have our extra face plates. She's so cute with her little green eyes. This one here with this kind of off-looked expression. She looks happy. And then we have an upset Zelda. I love that they gave her thick eyebrows. So those are her two extra face plates. And then we have her and her default face plate. And this is her here. She's super cute. I love her hair. I am really excited for the sequel. Uh, also, her design for the sequel is amazing because she has the short little bob and I love bob haircuts. So I'm a little biased, but she looks adorable with it. And I hope they do Nendroids of her uh, like sequel design as well because that would be really awesome. But yeah, this is her. And as always, I will be doing a closer look where I take a better look at the figure in its whole, in its entirety, um, all posed and everything with a better camera. So I will link that in the description below as well. Um, as always with this type of figure that has a lot of hair, there's always this kind of awkward space, which I find a little awkward. It's so that the peg that goes in her back to hold her up uh, has enough space to sit there. But it, to me, it just always is really weird. <laughs> But no, she turned out really cute. I think she's, like, the colors are really vibrant. Her hair is very nice. It's very yellow, but, like, it's very yellow in the game as well. So it's very true to, true to her. And the details on her clothes are really nice. So if you want to see that with a better camera, take a look at the link in the description below. I will go through all of that with a closer look. But that is pretty much everything that she comes with. I will be posing her on the horse because that is how I feel. <laughs> Um, here are her extra hands here, which I think are either grabby hands or the rain hands or maybe both. I'm not positive yet, but I'm going to put her together and then you guys can take a look at that second video for her fully posed. And there is an extra hand piece here, which I don't really want to take out because it's like stuck in the plastic. I think it's a... It's like a, this kind of hand. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, look out for those videos that I'm posting throughout this week. Again, they're not really in order. They're kind of all over the place because they were filmed beforehand, but I never ended up editing them and uploading them. So I'm disappointed with myself a little bit. But yeah, I'm gonna upload this one first and then I will start uploading all the other ones so you can look out for those again not in order. But yeah, there's a lot of random stuff that's going to be coming your way. So have fun with that. It's a bit extra content for this quarantine life. I'm in Canada, but it's still affecting us here. So uh, I'm not really allowed to leave my house. Um, more like family. I mean, I probably could leave the house if I really wanted, but my family's like, don't leave the house. So I'm not. Anyways, check the link in the description below. Watch out on my channel for the rest. If you liked this video, like it. If, if you want to see what else I'm uploading upcoming, you can always subscribe. Again, no pressure, not a big deal. But either way, I will leave that with you. I will link my affiliate links in the description below through CD Japan and Tokyo Talk Mode. Um, if you purchase anything through those links, I get a small commission. So thank you so much for doing that. Or for those of you that have, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, also, I will link all of my social media in the description below as well. I do prefer if you're 18 plus to follow my Twitter. Yeah, just be 18 plus to follow my Twitter. 
Thanks. I was going to make a separate Twitter and then I just didn't. And it seems like a lot of work to come up with like another username and then to re-upload or to retweet all of my video stuff, which is already on my regular Twitter. So just be 18 plus. I prefer if you're 18 plus if you follow me anyways, because I don't have the cleanest vocabulary. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I hope to see you guys in the next videos. Bye.